This design calls for some limestone edging around these garden beds that are in that zone through there. And you may notice that some hatching has been used to indicate that edging and it's in fact a solid hatch. What I'm going to do is to eliminate that. In fact, I'll just undo. If we zoom in on it, can you see that the hatching's been done properly with a polyline without any curve fitting and you've got this slightly ugly edges to the hatching. There's a much easier way of doing that and doing that hatching. So let's remove it. And if we select that line, you can see it's, it's a polyline. And again, a polyline here. It's been nicely done. It's a nice smooth curve there. The easiest way to hatch that is just to zoom in on the end of the two polylines and we'll draw a new polyline and we'll use snap and we'll snap to the end of the first one and we'll snap to the end of the second one and we'll hit enter. What while we're zoomed in there we'll select both polylines to the side and this new one and we'll join them. Now we'll go to the other end, which is up here, and put another polyline in there. Draw polyline from the end there to the end of the other large curve fitted polyline and we'll enter. Once again, select that new one and join it. So we now have a join all the way through. So to put a fill or a hatch on it, just select it and say we're going to fill it and immediately the polyline is in fact filled representing the edging. I'll just come over here and check that the colour is 222214189 so we can come back and pan across and pick and pick colour. It's 222214189 so now the edging matched. The same sort of problem shows here in this hatching through here which is some solid hatching again to deal with the garden bed and it wouldn't be too difficult I don't think to work out a polyline system to just close a polyline to create that area. But I'll digress that will take uh, just a little more effort and uh, if we'd realised that that's what we wanted to do what I probably would have done is to copy that polyline on this edge here and then I might have duplicated it in situ and then joined it on to, because we'd already have that shape through there, then join it on to the other lines that constitute the, the balcony, the boundary. Almost certainly that's not going to be a problem, but uh, in that case, but I just get a little offended by these little gaps that run through here. So a very efficient way to hatch a close, an area enclosed by a polyline is just to set the fill on and it'll be very efficiently hatched as you've just seen.